All right, well today I just wanted to go over the various menus that are available on the DM32. I'll be exploring each of these in detail in later videos, but for now let's just give a brief overview. If I go here, I can get the parts, so I can get the integer portion, the fraction portion, and the absolute value. So the integer portion being the portion before the decimal point, the fraction portion, the portion after the decimal point. I've got my probability menus, and again, I'll be exploring this in detail later. Linear regression, where I've got the linear estimation, so uh, what is the y for a given value of x, or what is the x for a given value of y estimated. And then we have the correlation coefficient, the slope, and the y-intercept. We can go to some more statistics menus, so here's the mean of the x, the mean of the y, and the weighted mean. We have the sample standard deviation and the population uh, standard deviation. We have various um, other statistics in the sums menu, which again we'll cover in the statistics video. And then if we go down here to the base menu, that's going to be yellow shift. So base base, and this is where we can convert to different numerical bases, so from decimal to hexadecimal, octal, or binary, and vice versa. Then we have various menus for programming, so we have a flags menu right here, blue shift flags. We can set a flag, we can clear flag, and we can see if a flag has been set. We can go and look at, well, let's do yellow shift and x with its various relationships to y. So is the x value less than or equal to the y value, or is it less than the y value? And similarly, blue shift, we have x and its relationship to 0. And then we can go to the memory menu. That's gold shift up here. You can see this is how much memory we have available for programs and then you can see your various variables and your programs. Right now I don't have any variables and I don't have any programs, but that's where you would see those. And then we have the modes menu, so your degrees, your radians, and then what you want your decimal separator to be, your grad. And then lastly we have the display menu, so gold shift display, and we can set it to fixed, so a fixed number of decimal positions, set it to scientific mode with its um, exponent and engineering mode, a multiple of three for your exponent, and then all to show all the digits available.